Ben Franklin famously stated that a penny saved is a penny earned, and he is right. Uh, I grew up in Chelmsford, Massachusetts, uh, about 20 minutes north of Boston. A lot of history in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, growing up, you know, many children dream of becoming a firefighter or a baseball player or a policeman. I wanted to be a lawyer, and so I studied history because history has a way of repeating itself. Uh, in the stock market, historically speaking, uh, the markets have always gone up, they've always gone down, but they've always recovered as long as you stay invested. So your motivation to help your clients really comes from your history. It really does. Uh, growing up, my parents lived paycheck to paycheck. Uh, they did not adequately save for their retirement or for my or my sister's college education. So we had to take out substantial student loans and they are not living the retirement currently that I'm sure that they had hoped or dreamed. Uh, and so being a financial advisor, uh, I am honored to be able to serve my clients, help them meet their financial goals and dreams and not make the same mistakes that my parents made uh, growing up and not adequately saving and not adequately planning. And that's really my job. It's to keep my clients invested because like they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So tell me about the many facets of expertise you bring to your clients. Well, here at Edward Jones, I'm considered a niche financial advisor that specializes in retirement planning. Uh, now, retirement planning is really two steps. It's the saving for retirement, the preparing for retirement, but then there's also a very important shift to actually living in retirement. Uh, and I like to use the analogy that I'm a captain of a ship and I am steering my client's ship around the many hidden rocks in the harbor on their way to retirement. Uh, and I'm also a chartered financial consultant, which means that I'm a full fiduciary financial planner. So Paul, we all know you're very involved in the community. Tell me about some of the things you're participating in. I'm very active in the, in the South Lake Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I always volunteer every year uh, for South Lake Oktoberfest, which is the biggest fundraiser for the Chamber. Uh, of the year, so it's very, very important. I was part of the 2021-2022 leadership class uh, for the South Lake Chamber of Commerce, and our class project was this Taste of South Lake. The whole idea of Taste of South Lake is to celebrate our amazing local restaurants. The effects of COVID-19 had a devastating impact on the restaurants. And so being in 2021, 2022, we wanted to celebrate our restaurants and give back to them. So it was more of a celebration. Now, some of my classmates had the foresight to capitalize on that success and they turned Taste of South Lake into an official nonprofit. And then they invited me to be on the board. Uh, so this past year, it was very successful. We were able to donate $10,000 to the Tarrant Food Bank, and that translates into us being able to feed 10,000 people. South Lake has a very strong school system, uh, and having a strong school system translates into a strong economy for the town, a strong community for families and for our businesses. And I'm honored to be a part of the CEF the Carroll Education Foundation's Board of Directors this year. Uh, the whole idea of the Carroll Education Foundation is to mitigate the effects of Robin Hood. It's to fund our teachers. Uh, we need to retain and we need to attract great teachers into our school system. Growing up in a small town in Massachusetts, we didn't we had strong schools, but they didn't necessarily have all of the funding that they needed for advanced placement classes. We only had a few advanced placement classes. And when I look back, if, if myself and the other students in that small town had greater access to advanced placement classes, who knows where we would be today? 
So what words of wisdom would you have for small businesses and small business owners about saving for the future and hitting their financial goals? Uh, the biggest advice to give right now is to stay invested, stay focused on your long-term goals, not the short-term noise that we're seeing in the markets today. Uh, if and, and please turn off the 24-hour news cycle because it's gonna drive you insane because you're gonna have 10 professionals telling you to get out of the markets because they're saying the markets are gonna plummet and you're gonna hear 10 experts in finance telling you that the markets are going to skyrocket. Don't worry about how others are doing. Don't worry about short-term gains or losses. Focus on long-term goals and dreams. And remember, history has a funny way of repeating itself. So if we don't recognize the mistakes that we've made in the past, we are doomed to repeat them in the future.